Spencer, 4-2 against one of the league's uh, favourite clubs for promotion. What was your views of the foot game? Where did you start really? It's a crazy game. I don't think there was an awful lot in it. I, we came with a game plan to you know to frustrate them and we, we hung on for dear life first seven minutes although they've only had one goal match scramble. You know, I, I, Hereford were the better side overall, no, no question. We've not helped ourselves. I'm very proud of everyone. You know, we, we worked hard, we've made mistakes. They'll, they'll win it, you know. Uh, they brought a fantastic group of fans, except for a couple of idiots. And, um, you know, we gave them a game. We, 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 every time we got ourselves back in the game, we made a terrible mistake, which took it away from us. But you can remember, we played, what, 30 plus minutes with 10 men, and it's a ridiculous and silly thing to do from Lewis Ferrell. I've made it perfectly clear. And, and you know, I'm, I'm proud of the fact we gave it a really good go. You know, we, did, we couldn't play the greatest football. The pitch was heavy. There wasn't a lot in it first half, terrible goal to concede right on the stroke of half time, we just switched off. And, and again, each, each goal was poor from our perspective, but we're a very young side. We certainly didn't disgrace ourselves. Hereford, I'm sure, will go on and win it, and we wish them all the best. And unfortunately, we've been the, you know, to beat a side like Hereford, you've got to be really on it. And we made individual errors at crucial times, including the sending off. And, and ultimately we end up with nothing but to say we, we, we congratulate them and I'm sure they will carry on up the leagues. Yeah, so individual mistakes or say led to um, at least probably three of the goals. Um, obviously we've now got Craig Gradshaw brought back into the squad. Um, do you think that should hopefully fire him up the fence a bit? Uh, well, look, um, we've said it to nearly every player. They're, they're here almost on trial. Bradders has not played at this level for four years. I tried to get him back a couple of times in the last year or so. It wasn't possible due to his work commitments. He's an experienced keeper, but he's got to show it. I'm, I'm, we were very impressed with Dennis Begovic as well, and he will get a chance. And people have got to fight for their shirts. I think all four goals are preventable, but you've also got to remember Hereford had a lot of the ball. We were struggling to create an awful lot. We created three or four half chances in the first half. One great save the keepers make from Luke King. But as I said, the key is is that we got ourselves back into the game and then you know, made a terrible mistake which killed the game. The, the, you know, the red card, we're playing 10 men against a fantastic side. You know, I mean, the quality they've got, the strength they've got, we're taking anything away. You know, it's, it was ridiculous. We gave away two silly yellow cards early doors. They're saying they're red cards, not in a million years from where I am. But they're two silly yellow cards and they were down to our own mistakes that exposed us and put us under pressure. And... You know, we got through that first seven minutes. I didn't think there was anything in the rest of the first half. You know, we had three or four sniffs, so did they. And uh, the goal at half time really hurts us. We started the second half quite brightly, but they, you know, again, a mistake. You know, Jack Barton's got done down the side. You know, we, we set up defensively, but with pace to hurt them. And as I said, I'm proud of the fact we put in a real shift. Young players make mistakes. You know, they're, they're learning. It's our first defeat home here in seven against the side, as I said. Fantastic club. And, and, I think the referee, he could have dealt with it better and, you know, the couple of idiots in the, in the stand there that are throwing off fireworks. Yeah, but that's no excuse, Lewis Farrell can't throw that into the crowd, someone could have been seriously hurt. So that's just really silly. Uh, he'll be dealt with, he knows it, he's put his hands up, it was just an instant thing, you know, we're sick of having fireworks thrown in the pitch, I think that was what, the fourth or fifth. Um, we, but at the end of the day, we've given them a good game, I'm just frustrated that even with ten men, we've got ourselves a sniff of the game. Um, and we haven't given ourselves just a few minutes to have a real go at them because they've just gone down the other end. But we're exhausted. You know, the fourth goal, I've said to one of our lads, you've not tracked, but he's exhausted. He's played 30 minutes against the side that I'm pretty certain will win this, 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 this division. And we're playing them with 10 men. And they're very, very good players. So overall, I'm proud of our lads' effort. The better team won. But we gave, we gave them some scares. You know, I'm just frustrated that with the red card, um, and individual errors, we've not been quite tight enough. But bringing in Bradders and, 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 and Dennis is good. Um, Aidan's still with us, he had flu today. Um, we're looking at lots of players. We've got a sort of behind closed doors friendly on Tuesday night. Um, we've got lots of players to look at. We're going to need them because you know, Jack's now suspended, he's away as well. Um, Lewis Ferrell will be suspended. Um, we're, it's an opportunity for lads to come in now and, and know that the strength of this league, the last two games, but they've been a breath of fresh air. There's a fantastic attitude in the dressing room and they're disappointed, um, which, is, which is a good sign. And if we can easily say, cut out the silly individual errors, you know, the third goal is calamitous. Um, silly little errors between Bradders and, 
and Rob Bartley, I don't know what the hell they're doing, the ball's on the dead ball line, so I mean between the two of them, they're an absolute hash of it, and, and the game's over, we're playing with 10 men, remember? So, overall it's been a positive day for us, but obviously we're very disappointed to give up our fantastic home record, and now we've got to go away and, and try and sort out our away record. And just for the season, is it just a matter of trying out new things, making sure we don't do anything really stupid and building on for next season? No, it's, it's more than that, it's, it's an opportunity, we've, we've still got the core of good players here, you know, Luke's been here a little while now, we've got keepers in, competing for places, we've got lads that want to do it, we've got agreements with loan clubs that if everyone's happy they will be here for certainly up to January if not the whole of next season. So it's more than that, it's, uh, you know, people like Jack Barton getting plenty of minutes, Lewis Ferrell coming back in, Perry, CJ's been, I thought was fantastic again today. And it's more than that, it, it's a, a learning lesson but we also want to have some, some good performances and this season has been the most crazy up and down season ever. We've had many fantastic days and we've had you know, far too many not great days. Um, so it's a learning lesson for the lads and you know, we've been excellent recently at home uh, and we've been just as poor away from home. But we were solid at home for the first half of the season, you know, away from home, sorry, and we need to get back to that. Uh, no harder place really hitching, very tough pitch and place to go. But yeah, we want to try and, and move the club forward, uh, obviously within our means, which is incredibly difficult and give people the opportunity and it's down to them to grab that opportunity um, and push on for next season and, and I think you've seen today uh, and certainly every other game with the exception of Weymouth um, who I think are another very strong side um, but we are very competitive and we've got lads that are desperate to play for the club um, with a fantastic attitude we were in Tuesday, we were in Thursday uh, most of us and we need to build on that and, and carry on um, and give the fans something to shout about but I said I, I think the vast majority of the Farmer fans should be very proud of the side today because we gave it a really good go and we were in the game and we got in the game twice and unfortunately it's been snuffed away by, as I said, all congratulations to Hereford um, that um, I'm sure they'll go on and, and, and win the title. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.